Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to focus on rail fence technique. As usual, let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number 1, we will understand the working of transposition technique and we are going to focus on the working of rail fence technique with example in this presentation. We know basically the classical encryption technique is of substitution technique and transposition technique and we have completed all the substitution techniques. Now we are going to focus on the transposition technique. And we are now in the transposition technique. In transposition, we are going to focus on the rail fence technique in this presentation. Before we step into the rail fence technique, we shall understand what is transposition. In the substitution technique, we know every character will be replaced by other characters or every alphabet will be replaced by other alphabets. Whereas in transposition, there will not be any replacement or substitution. Rather, the position of the plain text character will be changed in transposition technique. So basically, some sort of permutation will be applied on the plain text letters so that the position of the plain text letters will be changed and it becomes unreadable. Since the position of the plain text letters are changed and that's why this technique is referred to as a transposition cipher. And in this presentation, we are going to see an example technique which is rail fence and this is the simplest transposition cipher. Let's dive into the rail fence technique. We know that rail fence is a transposition technique where the plain text letters are not going to be replaced or substituted by other letters. Rather, the position of the plain text letters are going to be changed. How it is going to be changed in rail fence technique? Say, the plain text letter is actually written down as a sequence of diagonals and then read off as a sequence of rows. So what point number one states is that the plain text letters will be written down as a sequence of diagonals. Just watch the cursor, we are going to write like this and then we are going to read row by row so that the position of the plain text letters are changed. Don't worry about this point anyway when we see an example, it will be easy for you to understand. Let's see an example now itself. Encipher the message Neso Academy is the best with a rail fence of depth 2. So when you analyze the question, we can understand that we are going to encrypt the plain text which is Neso Academy is the best with what technique? Rail fence transposition technique with the depth value of 2. Let's solve this now. What are the information given in the question? The plain text which is Neso Academy is the best. And what's the depth value which is given? Which is 2 in this case. Let's see the point how rail fence technique is going to work. The plain text is actually written down as a sequence of diagonals. And then how cipher text is generated? Then it is read off as a sequence of rows. Let's apply this principle on this example plain text. Since the depth value is 2, we are going to visualize something like this where we have 2 rows because the depth is mentioned as 2. Now we are going to write this plain text in the diagonal format. So I am going to write this Neso Academy is the best in diagonals. Just see how I am doing. N E S O Neso Academy A C A D E M Y is I S the T H E best B E S T. So I have written the plain text in the diagonal format and the depth value is 2. So I am using only 2 rows. Now how cipher text is generated? Just see how I am generating the cipher text. As per the rule, after writing the plain text letters in the diagonals, this is actually rail fence, right? Neso Academy is the best. So I have written the plain text in diagonals. Now I am required to read in rows, right? What's the first row? N S A A E Y S H B S. So this first row is the first half of the cipher text. N S, which is this N S A A A A E Y S H E Y S H B S B S. So the first row is written here. Then obviously we'll be taking the second row, and this second row is the later part of the cipher text, which is E O E O C D M I C D M I T E T T E T. So this is what the cipher text for the plain text Neso Academy is the best. If you give the cipher text to someone, will they be able to find out that it is Neso Academy is the best? It's definitely not easy to recognize it because we don't know what encryption algorithm we have used to generate the cipher text. 
Even if we know the encryption algorithm which is rail fence, we don't know what depth value we have used. In this example, we have generated the cipher text with a depth value of 2. We could have used 3 or 4 or 5 whatsoever. It is depending on the depth value which is agreed upon by the sender and the receiver. And that's it guys. Before we step out, let's see the homework question. The question is, the same plain text, Neso Academy is the best. You are required to encrypt this plain text, Neso Academy is the best using the rail fence technique but now with the depth value as 3. In the example what we have seen, we have used the depth value 2 but you are required to use the depth value 3 in this homework problem. You can easily do it guys. And what's this? Is anything weird here? Nothing is weird here. This will be normally the last slide of my presentation. Still you find this to be weird? Let me decipher this. I have said thank you very much. But I have not presented this thank you very much as a plain text, rather I have presented as a cipher text. How did I get the cipher text? I used rail fence technique with the depth value 3. What is the plain text? Thank you very much. See in depth value 3 how did I do this? Thank you very much. Take this as a clue to solve the homework problem and don't forget to post your answers in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. And thank you very much.